Right guys, just a quick tutorial to help everybody out for the Gorillas um, indicators on TradingView to how to set up the Cornix uh, TradingView bots and just a little bit of help as when I went to set this up there was a it was quite difficult to get around to all the things for it to all work but I just wanted to help everybody out in this channel and uh, hopefully this will assist you and give you guidance on how to get this done properly so you don't have trouble so let's jump into it. So first of all, to get the uh, signals to work properly, you need to get permission and you need to get the indicators from Eternal Red X or from the Gorillas channel to invite you to have access to the two scripts. The two scripts that you have is the Profit Reaper and Alerts, which you need to go here at the bottom and you need to favorite it. That will show up in your trading view. And then Gorilla Profit Reaper X. This one's plus alerts. You need both of these. Make sure you favorite it. Um, and once you get access to it, you will be able to set this up on your um, on your actual uh, trading view charts. Um, how this works is first of all, you need to create a new chart. Um, don't load a new one. Just create a new layout. Call it whatever you want it. Um, if you're doing pairs, I would always try and call it by the pairs. So let's say it would be SUI, USDT, dot P, uh, test, whatever. Yeah. So if it's, these are the pairs, SUI and USDT. Once you create it, it's fresh. Um, so what you do at this point is you need to get the indicator set up first. This is the first step. Go to the indicators. Once you favorite them and you've got the greeting um, unlock. That means you've been access, uh, granted access to the indicators. If you click it once, it opens up. You click it twice, you get the two. So you get the profit and the repo alerts. Once those two are there, you also want to put the... It's called the Lux Algo Smart Money Concepts. Lux Al, you can search Lux Algo Smart Money. This one, it's free. You click it, you'll get it added on onto your um, actual charts. Now, once you have this set up, you have the indicators active, you have the Lux Algo active, this is pretty much ready to go. What you need to do is you need to go onto the Discord channel, which is the Gorillas one, which I will show you on here. And go into the setup and access, right? So once you're here, there are pairs here. These pairs and these settings are for both of the indicators identical. And I'll show you how that works. If we go back to this one, you've got two of them. You need to edit both. So this is a little settings button just here. You click on the settings button. As you can see, fast EMA, slow, all of these settings you've got here, you need to copy them across. So let's see, this is a SUI pair, right? With the SUI USDT. So yeah, make sure you're on the correct one as well. It's one of the things that I, um, there's a lot, loads of different SUI. Uh, so if you put SUI USDT in here, there's quite a lot of different ones and you may get confused on which one to pick. You will always, for these indicators to work, you'll be always picking. If you're using BitGet, you'd go onto the BitGet and then you're looking for SUI UD, uh, USDT perp, uh, perpetual mixed contracts. And this is what you're selecting. Make sure you're on that. Also, you have to notice that on these settings that are posted in a how to set up, let's find the SUI one, all of these, SUI USDT. Make sure you've got the correct time frame set on trading. Or when you go down trading view, make sure you have the correct one. So make sure it's 30 minutes. If it says 25 minutes, as you can see, uh, some of them are different. 30 minute time frame, 30 minute time frame. 40 minute time frame. These are the settings for these time frames. Make sure they're set up correctly. If you skip that step and you mess it up, you will end up uh, with the signals not working the way they intended to. So 30 minutes, um, indicators have been activated. As you can see, they're all here. You need at least an essential plan or above to be able to use these indicators because you need to be able to have at least three of the indicators active at one time. I believe the test or the free account only lets you have one or two. I'm not sure, but I've got premium. I prefer premium because you can do some back testing. Uh, back testing at the bottom here is strategy tester and what that does is you can actually run 
the percentages and see what your average profit would be based on how much it is and I'll show you how to do that in a moment so once you have found the pair you want to make it, you've selected SUI USDT you've put the perpetual mixed contracts on BitGet because we're, I'm using BitGet I'm going to demonstrate on BitGet once it's there you want to copy all of these values across to the indicator on this end so let's do that quickly and do it 55 220 05 3.5 more 2.8 and you've got 5 80 27 profits 4 2 and take losses 4 1 and then the cooldown bars is 6 bars right so once you've got that you will notice that at the bottom because I have the strategy tester it shows me my profitability percentage at the bottom here you can do a deep back testing what it would be like for the whole year if you want to. You've got 69 percent win rate, total 283 trades. That would be a profit, but that's based not on the leverages that we're going to be using with the bots. The leverages are X11, which is a little bit higher. There'll be more profit, and it'll work a lot better than this small partial profit that you're seeing at the bottom. But the main thing that you need to get, and the stat that you need to get out of this, is the back testing on the profitability percentage, which is 69 to 6. As you can see, once I've done the edit. You can see the short opening and closing signals have popped open and those would activate on Cornix, which is where you run your bots. That will trigger it once uh, you created a rule for the alert that will trigger it and open the trade for you automatically when it meets all the criteria of the settings that uh, Gorillas has set for this particular pair. You do the same for this. So again, if you go on to you've done the profit one is all edited, as you can see. You need to also change the Reaper and Alerts. So you need to change this again. Copy across 55, 220, 3.5, 5, 80, 27, 4.2, 4.1. And then we've got 6 at the bottom here. This is really important. You need to do it for both of these. Once it's done, make sure you save layer or use control s now this pair is saved these signals have been set up correctly they're both right the back testing is showing that it's 69 percent so it's profitable if you want to play around with i mean it's not going to show you real profits because the profits will come from the leverage that we're going to do on the bot that's going to trade with this pair which is a lot higher profits this will not you can't set leverages up or i'm not sure how to do it on the back test end uh, at the bottom here for now it's 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 a basic tool it just shows you the basics but it works quite well to show you an example of what you can be getting from it so again you've got your sui usdt dot p perpetual and big get set up you've got your time freeze set up you've got your your signal set up you don't need to do anything for the smart money concept just have it there just leave it as it is so now you've set up your pairs now if you want any other pairs you would again instead of instead of creating a new layout every single time you can make a copy of this layout and you can create BTC USDT you can create whichever pairs that have been posted on the setup and access so he's got dot pairs he's got uh, doggy USDT XMR USDT Shiba Pepe yeah so set up as all of these all you do is every single time you do it just create a uh, copy a layout and edit the, the the information here and change this and change the time frame to the one he specified and that's how you create multiple different pairs ready to set up for the bot stages which is the next stage I'm going to show you so I use BitGet if you use a different platform you can use a different platform Cornex uh, which is the platform for setting up these trading view bots as you can see they connect to all different uh, platforms I use BitGet you've got BitGet here so what you need to do before you do anything is you need to fund your uh, trading account, the one that you're going to be using before you put it on for the bots to run. Um, I recommend BitGet because I've used it, I'm familiar with it, but you can use whichever one you feel comfortable with. Make sure Cornix supports it. But for this t purpose of this tutorial, we're going to use BitGet. Now, it's a very important step. So once you have your account, you need to fund the account. And the way you fund the account is by sending BTC. Uh, or USDT, not BTC, USDT to this account. So exchange your B BTC to USDT if you don't have any and then send the USD dollar average that you want to put onto your trading and how much you want to gamble with, how much you want to trade with to have on your funding account. 
once you fund the account so let me just show you how you do that you go into your wallet uh, you want to deposit USDT you want to choose the network which uh, you can choose whichever TRC Tron you get your key deposit funds onto this account it will hit the account once the money is in that account what you need to do is you need to do something very important is you need to put this these funds into your futures account normally it will hit your spot account it will be in here and what you want to do is you would like to transfer out your spot account so how it works is at the top right you've got transfer button you'd have spot you'd select USDT and you want to put the maximum amount of USDT that you've currently put in that and what you want to do then is you want to scroll down there's a few USDT futures make sure you select the correct one you select the USDT M futures and then you transfer all the money across so now your account has been fully funded your bit gets now funded your futures account is funded you want to connect that over to your um, to your Cornix create a Cornix account free to do dashboard you've got your account here I've got one trade open at the moment it's working it's magic you've got two different ones make sure you look at these when you have them uh, you have bit get futures and you've got bit get spot yeah you will be creating it on the futures that's what the signals are set up for and uh, intended for you don't touch the spot account you will show also see once you've done if you've done it correctly and you've transferred the funds from your spot bit get to your futures bit get you will see the funds will show up here and it'll show you that you have got money to play with the bots play on percentages not on the amount of money you have here so the more money you have here it will take a percentage of that money to open up a trade so if you have more money in here and how much money you want to trade with you can play around with it and I'll show you how to do it in a moment so once you have your pair set up and you have your Cornex connected to BitGet when you create a new account it'll ask you to connect to it you need to connect to it also just something to say you need to set up two-step verification on your trading view on your Cornex and on your BitGet it will not let you set up this bot unless you do that now the most fun part is once you have your funded account on BitGet everything's done correctly you've connected it over to Cornex your trading view charts have been set up for all the pairs that you want to play with you want to create the bot so what you do is you create uh, create always two bots for every single pair it's a short and it's a long so it trades both ways so when we have an up you'll trade on longs if we have a down you'll trade on going down on shorts also play around with um, the isolator so here this one I've set this bot up wrong I already noticed that it needs to be isolated 11x not 1x it's a mistake it happens so to create a bot click on trading view you will not have anything here because obviously you'll be creating a new one once you're all connected there's two things you need to do is webhook URL is really important you only do this once when you create an alert on trading view you're gonna need to do this I didn't do it last time it didn't trigger the alert and we try to figure out for ages until we got there it was webhook URL I'll show you how to do that in a moment so first of all you create a create bot click on the create a bot now make sure you're on the futures account you can name it what you like doesn't matter this is so the first part is use percentages amount per trade so this will take a percentage of your available balance 4% 10% 20% whatever you want to risk and how you want it you can set it you've got long and short we're doing a short first I mean so we're doing a long first and we're doing isolated 11x yeah that's why the profits are a lot higher than the ones that we show you on trading view so long 11x let's say 4% to start with we're going to be doing the SUI pair right SUI pair take profit the take profit is 4.1 you have to follow, uh, follow the same guidance on the settings that you have set up for SUI so let's find SUI again let's go at the top where are we where are we XMR doggy Sui so take uh, take profits 4.2 stop loss is 4.1 so take profit 4.2 stop loss 4.1 make sure here you say it to free what this means is once your bot gets stopped out three times and you lose you lose you lose there might be this is a for a reason of if the formula isn't working as it's intended and you're having consistent losses it will stop out it will stop creating 
bots from that point onwards so you don't keep losing money until you adjust the strategy which obviously gorillas will be able to update you if there are changes and what deviates from it so make sure you set it to free and in advanced you want to put here number of simultaneous trades one I believe there is uh, gorillas has worked out a new method or a better way to do this so this might not be so relevant but for the purpose of this video this will mean you can only have one similar uh, simultaneous trade pair open which is important to have for now once you have all of this sorted click on create a bot create and activate and it will give you a UUID which you will put into your bot so you copy this over you go back to the this is the, the one you just made the perpetual yep it's this one here the perpetual that we just set up ourselves we've added the free so what you want to do here is you want to go to alert so you've got log and you've got alerts you want to now add the alert for this to work intertwined with it and what you do on this alert is you would make sure it's all set up here 30 you it might be on a different one here you can see some of the ones it's it's all wrong you want to set it up to gorillas x alerts make sure it's a long entry if that's the bot that we have created which was a long uh, you can call it what you like give it a name because you'll be able to see the alerts here and what the names are sui usdt test yeah in the message you would paste the uuid that we just copied from here the top one the create trade you don't need to copy the close trade just the create trade one okay once it's made you click or you copy it you copy it onto here once there it's in there now you go to notifications and it says you see web URL your one will be unclicked if you don't have two-step verification will not allow you to create this on trading you need to add two-step verification first for security click on the web URL and it's always going to be this yeah this is all it is if you go back here and you click on the web URL it'll be that link it'll be that exactly that you paste it once you do it once you don't need to keep doing it on every single time you create a alert right you create alert and you can see here it's been created now it's active so the one I just created on here this particular one again it's here uh, Sui USDT the one I've just made um, I believe I made one uh, the fourth one would be this one here just create this one that's the UID you can always copy it from here it's all been set up and it's now active and now it's active on the trading view chart so when it triggers a long position it will open that up on Cornix and it will open it with 4% of the value that you've got on the account for it to go ahead and do that trade and it will obviously shut it once it meets the profit or stop loss limits that you were looking for with that trade it's pretty straightforward I'm gonna delete that so I don't want it to keep taking money out of my account or double trade and that's pretty much it so hopefully this video helps you get it all sorted um, if you have any questions or you need any help just contact gorillas he's always active just reach out to him his name is mr red on uh, the discord channel uh, make sure you don't click on any imposters or people trying to scam you out and stuff he will not message you directly unless you message him so make sure you message the correct person all right, I hope this helps. Make sure you set all these bots up correctly. Uh, best of luck, and I hope uh, you, we all profit together and make some serious cash. Ciao.